Brick and its Characteristics, Part 1. In this video, we will learn what are bricks? Where are bricks used? How bricks are measured? How many edges and faces are there in a brick? And where and how bricks are made? I want to eat something. But we just had our lunch, not food. I want to eat an ice cream or something spicy like a samosa. Yes, it's too hot today. I can eat an ice cream with you. But where to get it in school? I wish the canteen is built soon so we could get to eat an ice cream and samosas in school itself. The canteen is getting built since so many days now. It should have been completed by now. Let's go and see. Oh, only this much has been built. I don't know how much more time it's going to take. What are they using to build this canteen? What is this red object? This red object is called a brick. What is a brick and why are you using it to build a wall? This red color small box shaped object you are looking at is called a brick. Brick is a small rectangular box shaped object which is made by baking the clay. So are the walls of our school also made of bricks? Yes and not just this school. Your home, all the buildings in this city, bridges are all made of bricks. Bricks are used in almost every construction work. Wow, this brick is a wonderful object. But where does this come from? Bricks are made with clay and they are made in a furnace. With clay? Can you please explain it in detail? Okay, clay is used to make bricks. Water is added to soil and a dough is made like what your mom makes for chapatis. Then, it is put in a mould to give it the shape of a brick. The brick is then taken out of the mould and is baked in the furnace until it gets hard and strong. You must have seen the furnace at many places. This is how bricks are made. Have you understood? Now we have understood. But here all the bricks are of the same shape. Are all bricks of the same rectangle shape? Yes, all the bricks are of this shape. A rectangular box. In mathematics, this shape is called a cuboid. This brick has so many faces. Can we count them? Yes, every brick has six faces. One, two, three, four, five and six. Now, can you count the edges of this brick? Mm, it has 12 edges. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There is one point to be noted about the faces and edges. What? Did you notice all the faces and edges are straight? Yes, you are right. But are all bricks this small? To measure a brick, we measure its length, breadth and height. The length of this brick is 21 cm, breadth is 10 cm and height is 8 cm. You can find bricks of different sizes but for our construction, we are currently using bricks of this measurement. So where can we see bricks of different sizes? To know that, you will have to look for very old buildings. In those days, floors and ceilings were also made with bricks. If you look at them, you will know the importance of bricks. If you want, I will bring bricks of different sizes tomorrow. Yes, sir. Please bring bricks of different sizes tomorrow. We want to see them. Thank you for giving us so much information about bricks, sir. Our class is about to start. We will have to go now. Okay. If you want to know more about bricks, let me know. Neha, did you remember what engineer sir told us? Yes, let me summarize the information we gathered on bricks today. A brick is like a small rectangular box which is made by baking the clay. A brick is used in building houses, bridges and all other types of constructions. Shape of the brick is cuboid. 
The size of a brick is determined by measuring its length, breadth and height. A brick has 12 edges. A brick has 6 faces. Bricks are baked in furnace. I am waiting for tomorrow because engineer sir will get different sizes of bricks to show us. Me too.